Mori, tu acha na vile je, eh, sio love you to be my brother. Yes, sir, uh, but yesterday, uh, yesterday night was another edition of the Niger Voices and then we can tell you oh, there's a bit as we do. There's a teaser so that next week we don't miss out on that program. Jamie, over to you. Uh, yesterday was um, a very fantastic day because uh, you know we were able to look into what the uh, the president said uh, you know during his engagement. Uh, he has said much as well. We're going to be telling you much of what he has said. You know, especially as the president continued to work uh, you know with Nigerians in diaspora in New York. So the, the focus was to allow Nigerians and the the indigenous people. To listen to the president's uh, speech that lasted for uh, 19 minutes, uh, you know, 23 uh, seconds. And um, part of what was discussed uh, focused around uh, the expectation, uh, the first outing of the president. Uh, it talked about the global institution job creation. Uh, you know, the president talked about we must create enough jobs for many uh, Nigerians at home. Uh, it went further to talk about the economy our people desire. You know, what kind of economy do we want as Nigerians, as Africans? Uh, again, the question is how much of the world is ready to work with Nigeria? It talked about democratic governance. I'm going to be telling you what, uh, you know, Femi Adesina, like you talked about, uh, you know, the regret of the former president, Mamadou Buhari. So the question is, you know, how come they regret after they've served uh, Nigerians for eight years? Uh, we hope that this same president will not be coming out with some of his spokesperson telling us the regret when they have the time to t to turn things around. He also talked about the demand for solution. Uh, what kind of solution are we looking for? All of these were packed up uh, on the Niger Voices yesterday. Uh, he talked about you know the Sahel, uh, as many Nigerians are now traveling out of Nigeria, uh, you know, to have a better life. Uh, you know, the question is a. Uh, is, there, is telling Nigerians to return back home, uh, this is going to be part of the discussion this morning. The question is, how many Nigerians are ready to return back to Nigeria uh, at this particular time? Is the question again that we're going to be looking into. Uh, it talked about there are some criminals within the local that are working with the foreign entities. How do we stop these foreign criminals from working with the locals? Uh, he also talked about the negotiating with the military junta uh, and is also sending out friends of uh, 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 out is also sending out hands of friendship but the most part of um, the one that I think most of uh, the campaigners of the right to self-determination the indigenous people will be we of the the will of the people must be respected the question is uh, would this present administration respect the will of the people because we saw that after the former president, Muhammad Buhari, left office, we now realize that he was also sponsoring the Ebube that was destroying, you know, part of the Southeast. And already there's a lot of atrocity going on in Imo State where businesses were burnt down. And that is coming from the military, uh, you know, doing the same thing that Buhari was doing while he's, he's in government. So many questions and all these were answered. Uh, at that program yesterday. If you've missed it, you might want to go back and watch that uh, again. Uh, now, let's come back again to you in the studio, Mr. Archie. Well, listeners, so that is for your information. If you missed out on the Niger Voices, just go to Star Radio UK website, uh, or the, the Facebook, or the YouTube, or Twitter, or X. Yeah, Twitter is not X. Yeah, just go there and just go read, listen, or watch it. Uh, this is your. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, it's a good morning, Saturday. If you, it's a good morning to you as well. We hope that you are doing very, very well. We thank God for you as well. All right, listeners, uh, we will be talking about anybody in another London series of Magic here in the South. And we are bringing you our plates from you. Now, first of all, let's come to the statement that the former president has made. Let me bring you just a, a bit of it before. Um, he said the former special advisor on media and publicity to President Muhammad Buhari. Femi Adeshina has confessed that the ex-president expressed regrets on some of the decisions he took while in office. Adeshina made a session while speaking at the program Tap Media Dialogue with Femi Adeshina. Now, Yomi is going to tell us more about that. Before we left office, I sat with him, that is Bahari, for about two hours and I asked him every question under the sun. There was no question I didn't ask. 
there were things we felt could have been done better at the national set. But we were sort of maybe naming them. Let me let me as well sweep you of whatever was the start in the background. But we say it here, or it said, that hindsight is quite an interesting one. So if you were looking at it, you weren't very sure how the impact of it all is going to be, but we say that he regretted some. Uh, uh, Nigeria is, is saying that if Nigeria is the most criminal state in the world, as the European nation. Now, thank you very much. I'll let your comments come through. Yeah. Well, uh, it seems uh, as usual when the government leaves, uh, you know, those that work with that government, uh, you know, in different uh, parts will want to say something. And uh, what we can now confirm is that, yes, uh, you know, Additional uh, was having this program actually yesterday in southwest of Nigeria, Oshogbo, when uh, it was brought in uh, by Veteran Association of Journalists in Oshu State. And the tag was Media Dialogue. With Femi Adishino. I mean, everybody would love to have him. Uh, we would love to have him as well on our program to come and tell us what questions that are burning many Nigerians. Uh, but it seems that those questions he was able to ask the former president in a two hour chat. He did not reveal everything that was discussed, but he said that during that interview, uh, you know, they talked about the redesign of the money that actually stopped kidnapping. He also talked about how he could not have enough to fill his gas. The gas was about 40,000 Naira. He had 20,000 Naira with him. Even though as a special advisor to the president, he doesn't have Naira. So he was actually impacted as well with the Naira redesign. He also said that the president, uh, you know, talked about certain things that he would have done differently, but those things were not revealed from additional. He also went on further to say that we lost eight governors that were trying to get into the Senate uh, seat. That has never happened. He actually said that the redesign of the NERA was the reason for that. So that literally means that, uh, you know, most of those that wanted to get into the Senate position could not do so because there was not enough NERA to distribute to Nigerians, you know, as they normally do every four years and bribe Nigerians. Then he said that, he said, Buhari served the country diligently Nothing that inadequacies in the way it governed could not be entirely blamed on him. So that again, the former president is literally not saying that he hasn't done well, but please do not blame everything on me. The question is, who do we blame? You know, the issues that was, uh, you know, enraging in Nigeria. When Buhari came in, the dollar, uh, you know, was just, uh, when you look at the dollar and the naira, it was just equivalent to 250 naira to the dollar. But today, uh, we're talking about a thousand naira to the dollar, which is again, uh, has collapsed the economy and uh, other areas as well. But Adeshina even went there to say that um, somebody was kidnapped during the redesign of the naira uh, policy of Emifili and his government. And that literally allowed the kidnapper to set free somebody by just giving them three slap because nobody was going to bring any money. Well, I'm not sure whether that was true or false, but what we can say is that we saw that evidence that during the NERA redesign, kidnappers were also asking for the new redesign NERA as against the old one as well. It talked about the nine serving governors couldn't go to the Senate, that they, they contested, but they lost. Have you ever seen a governor contest an election and not win? But because there was no money to spread around, they couldn't win. All this was discussed, but the question he never tell us was, uh, you know, he never told us was where... Igbo was attacked. What was the reason behind that? What was the reason why the El Zakizaki movement, uh, you know, was uh, a lot of them were killed, you know, he lost his children. And the most important as well, while the kidnap of Inam de Kano, maybe all these were discussed, he's still putting them under the wrap for his own biography later on. says that he did well, but the question is, he said, there are things that we cannot blame him for, but the box stops with him. He, that's why he was rooted in power. And the, the, one of the things that he said, that, uh, pertaining to the Naira redesigning, where he said that uh, uh, it's nine, nine governors lost their seats because of that. And you look at that and you, you see that blatantly saying that, no, we go about our campaign, drive the people to vote for us, and we didn't have the money to drive the people. Therefore, so you, you, you ask yourself, are they really there to serve us? 
Well, let's go back to what uh, the former president of Basson just said last week. Buhari spent recklessly, lack understanding of economy. Remember that, uh, you know, it's all about the economy. I've told you that, uh, you know, we expected, uh, you know, when Buhari said that the dollar and Naira would be one to one, but we didn't realize that it was actually not going to be what he said. He also mentioned something that, uh, you know, the former president, True Gabashew, told us that the reason why the forced subsidy was not implemented was because they are a little bit worried and concerned that uh, Tinobu might lost that election uh, if that policy came on board. But today, it seems that that policy is the same thing that Tinobu is telling the United Nations. And as he was uh, at the stock uh, exchange yesterday in America, but Tinobu is also advising many Nigerians that there is so much opportunity and it is time for you all to come back home. I once lived in the United States opportunities are born but return home tinobu is telling nigerians at the diaspora engagement in new york yesterday whether those that are campaigning for the apc all over the world are ready to return or they are probably still waiting to see whether this economy will go in the right direction i'm not sure anyone wants to leave their good jobs or the good opportunity that they have outside nigeria when there are so many millions of nigerians that wants to jack back Well, he, he also said he doesn't have enough up to 40,000 Naira. You wonder that, um, I know most of, that, that is a complete blunt lies because many politicians in Nigeria and those that are also not politicians move with a lot of money stuck in their house. So for Femi Adishina to say that he wanted to fill up his gas while they were cooking, the gas finished and he didn't have 40,000 Naira, you know, to fill the gas as a special aid to the president. Uh, I'll leave that for Nigerians to decide whether that is a fact of friction. Well, as we are saying, but again, the president calling on Nigerians to come home. I'm, I'm asking, have they created a conducive environment for people to come back home? Okay, we are here. I said that you mean we would love to go to Nigeria, we would love to go and invest there, but are the, uh, the, 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 the environment conducive for us to take our money and take our family? Or if you meet the family and say that we are going at the three years time, once anything is settled, then we can let the water. Are the environment conducive for that at all? Don't even do so. Uh, well, uh, uh, it's easy. It's easier said than. You know, Don, uh, I remember Buhari said this as much of these. Uh, I mean, I was able to, uh, you know, you know, see, you know, the former president in the UK, uh, you know, when he was making his campaign. But this time around, you know, he's no longer a campaign. You know, Bola Tinobu is the current president. And uh, United States uh, yesterday at New York, President Bola Tinobu has now encouraged Nigerians in the U.S. to rise above failure by changing their mindset for success in all their endeavors. He also went further to say that, uh, you know, he gave the advice at the town hall meeting with Nigerians uh, in Diaspora on Wednesday. I want you to, I want to give you a measure that will resonate with you. I was once a Diaspora, which is still being challenged because we know that uh, being a Diaspora as a study in America, his certificate is still being challenged by Atiku as we speak right now. And I think that the result is meant to come out today, but I think, uh, you know, that might be on Monday next week i want to give you a measure that will resonate with you i was once a diaspora what you have been through i have been through it a change of mindset is necessary take it this night that nigeria is home for business opportunities stated the president nobody is arguing that nigeria is not a good place for business but the question is what kind of policy is this government going to put in place what kind of measures security what kind of uh, conducive environment that would change the mindset of those at home? Because we've realized that uh, many of those uh, Nigerians at home as well now have a different mindset. So maybe uh, Mr. Tinubu stated that also anywhere you stay, there's always going to be an opportunity in. And everything you do, there's always going to be opportunity. If you know how to search and put your mind into it. Well, Mr. Wolabi Benga 
had his mind in Nigeria, had a better opportunity by setting up a quick business that would have supported the community. Guess what? He was killed returning from Maryland uh, in Oshogbo after paying a whooping 13 million naira. Uh, his body was returned to Maryland. So I'm not sure whether the family listening to the president in America or maybe the president would have uh, requested to see such family. Let's take you back to 2018. A mother, a daughter, and a father returned to Nigeria probably for a holiday. I don't know. But what we can confirm is for six days they were kidnapped in 2018. A whooping sum of five million to eight million was paid after the mother sacrificed herself from allowing the daughter and the husband to be raped. She decided to leave herself as a lamb for the terrorists to rape her. After six days, money was paid. They returned back to uh, U.S. today. The question is, yes, the opportunity is there. We have the population, but is the right policy in place as the president is advising many Nigerians to return back home? And that would probably mean that those that are planning to travel should remain in Nigeria. Well, listen, as minister already, okay, it is your favorite station in London. Well, uh, you know, when you have the new sheriff in town, uh, they're planning to do things in different ways. I, I think, uh, you know, uh, action will speak louder than words is what a lot of us will expect. Uh, as much as all these rhetorics are very good uh, presentation on the paper, many Nigerians want to see that they can travel from point A to B uh, without being kidnapped. Many Nigerians want to see crime to be solved as quickly as possible. Many Nigerians want to see their state you know, free from terrorism, as uh, many have been terrorized on a daily basis. Even within, uh, you know, the community, there are people that are also known to be working with the uh, politicians that could also terrorize you as well. The question is, the new chief of army staff has a lot of work to do, as against the previous ones, Buratai and the ones that were there, that couldn't perform uh, to the task ahead. But again, uh, you know, the President Bola Tinubu believes in this new security architect to bring the unity because the president also talked about uh you know profiling we should stop profiling each other that we are one family member and this again would determine whether if those in the southeast are all profiled as biafrans and businesses are burnt down just as we saw villages being destroyed and genocide is taking place the question is what difference is this military uh, architect is going to do that will not make Nigerians think that it's all about the profiling because the president said again Igbos, Yorubas and other tribes, one family Nigerians should stop ethnic profiling Okay, Nigerians should stop ethnic profiling but uh, what are the authorities doing? They should start it and then everybody will follow it but when people are being marginalized when somebody who is standing up for his people because of marginalization is, I mean, his house is raided in the night and eventually they want to kill the person and the person has to flee for his life, then you ask yourself, when do we say we are all one? 
when the leadership want to get everybody on board, but maybe the new sheriff can tell I do something different from what the others have done. Business is not really good. It see. looks like somebody wants to remind the president, uh, you know, from one of the quotes of uh, the late Femi Abu, uh, Abba Femi Aulawo, Nigeria is not a nation. It is a mere geographical expression. They are not Nigerians in the same sense as they are English, Welsh, and or French. The word Nigeria is a mere a distinctive appellation to distinguish those who live within the boundaries of Nigeria and those who do not. Well, somebody say the geographical area <laughs> put together for their own interests. But let's let's start with the UK. Eleven thirty one. I'll go back to you again for the rest of the stories. Well, it seems that uh, the APC might be rejoicing quickly in Kano State as the election petition tribunal has come out and say that uh, the current governor uh, must now come out and uh, return the certificate to the APC tribunal. And the APC chairman Ganduje says Tinobu is letting the judiciary flourish and is now urging peace in Kano. Uh, as uh, yesterday the news was filtered out, uh, we are sure businesses, community, that our new government, if we come in under our able Dr. Yusuf Gawuna, businesses will flourish in Kano. Remember that the, you know, Kano state is a, is a, is a state that has been uh, on the, in the news after the Ganduje lost, uh, I mean, um, the governorship to his, um, you know, own party to NMPP. But it seems now that if things are going to turn around, all the damage that the governor that came in have done, what is going to happen? Remember, even the roundabout that had like a cross sign was destroyed. According to the APC chairman, Abdullahi Gandude, has urged the resident of Kano State to remain peaceful, assuring that their businesses will flourish, crediting President Bola Tinubu with creating an enabling environment for the judiciary to flourish. So that is coming from the headline as we again go back again. Um, Dakwabi ordered the governor of Ogun State to open a special court to try Ogun Cortes. Like I said on Saturday, stroke Sunday, uh, it was a bloody day in Shagamu as 25 innocent youths were murdered, uh, and that has got to do uh, you know, with courtism. So it seems that the governor of Ogun State, Dakwabi Odun, is now saying that we would have to establish a court that will focus on the court related cases. Uh, you know, Abiodun spoke after a joint security meeting that was held in the state uh, at the governor's office in Abelkuta yesterday. He said the Ogun state government would also set up a joint anti-cultism security task, first comprising all the major security outfits with the mandate to read the state of the menace of cultism. The governor said that the state was also proposing an amnesty program for cultists who might wish to renounce their courtesy and surrender their weapons. The question is, you know, what is actually pushing a secondary school children into courtesy? We know this used to be within the university and polytechnic, but it seems that three innocent secondary school children were murdered on Saturday at Shagamu. Again, death due to road crashes in Nigeria is down by 15.5%, according to the FRSC. Uh, once again, uh, People can't afford to travel as before because of the high cost of petrol and bad roads. So fewer travelers, less accident. This is coming from a comment from one of the uh, those that actually <laughs> responded to that particular article. We are making progress, except that FRSC is lying to us. But I believe them is also the uh, responder as well. Let's take uh, one or two, three more, and then we're going to go straight into what is happening on the social media. Once again, this is still... Uh, the finest African and Caribbean radio station in London. Atiku's election petition outweighed Bola Tinobu's privacy right because of Nigerian president submit on clear certificate to INEC. This is actually coming from the U.S. judge. Uh, judge Jeffrey Gilbert of the United States District uh, Court of the Northern District of Illinois on Tuesday said President Bola Tinobu Weakened his education privacy right when he submitted a contentious certificate to run for office in 2022. The judge said that they need to confirm the genuineness or otherwise of the certificate that Mr. Tinubu submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Nigerian opposition leader Atiku Abubakar has sought uh, to obtain Mr. Tinubu's academic record following inconsistencies 
They characterize the submission Mr. Tinubu certified under oath to Nigerian Electoral Office. So like I said, we're expecting that to have happened today, but, but between the two parties, uh, they've agreed that by Monday, uh, that certificate needs to be coming into the public domain. So we would then be able to confirm so many things that many have confirmed. Either Tinubu went to, was attending that Chicago University as a male or female, or it was just that some kind of a discrepancy of Oluwole certificate, like we would call it, has been done. But again, we will have to wait on Monday to be able to confirm that. Uh, again, the Kano current governor have rejected the tribunal judgment, sacking him, and he has actually promised to appeal such as well. Uh, humans have opened gates to hell, says the United Nations General Secretary. Well, as many Nigerians believe that Nigeria itself uh, is hellfire because of so many things that is happening there. Maybe that is where the United Nations General Secretary, Anthony Guterres, have picked that up. Let's look at that uh, as we say. Uh, Mr. Gautres said this on Wednesday. Uh, let's go back again to that. United Nations General Secretary, Secretary General rather, Antonio Gautres says, humanity has opened the gate to hell with extreme weather having horrendous effect on the global population. Uh, he actually said this on Wednesday as the broad global coalition of movers and doers, politicians, businesses and civil society have gathered at the New York for the first ever Climate Ambition Summit. The summit will be held later on today. We know that President Bola Tinubu will also be attending the meeting. In his address on the sideline of the UN General Assembly to politicians, businesses, activists, and civil society leaders, the UN chief issued a stark warning about the dear consequences of inaction, especially with extreme weather. We saw what happened in Libya. We saw the same, uh, you know, uh, catastrophe that took place in Turkey around February. We saw the same happening in Morocco. Uh, the president, uh, Bola Tinobu, also talked about uh, climate. Africans will have to fight the climate change in our own terms and condition. As we then move straight to the social media this morning, once again, uh, many Nigerians uh, that are also living here uh, in the United Kingdom, as we always say, crime uh, must be avoided at any interval as well. A 26-year-old Nigerian drug dealer identified as Olushegun Babalola has now been sentenced to eight years imprisonment in the United Kingdom for hiding a starch worth more than 7,000 pounds in a box of tissue. Uh, again, uh, as we say, many diaspora are doing very well. Many are not involved in such crime. But when crimes happen and uh, it's coming from a particular country, that definitely might have negative impact on every citizens of that country. We remember Osh Poppy uh, was also picked up in Dubai after lavishing and spending so much money only for us to find out that you know those were not his own wealth. These are wealth from those that have worked very hard while he was just spending those wealth. And many Nigerians wanted to have such kind of wealth without knowing where the wealth is coming from. So again, as we always say, there are so many diaspora that are working day and night, but yet the few that are also committing crimes will have a bad negative on the others as well. Uh, this is coming from Momoye Le uh, as he's responding to, again, you know, jungle justice. Jungle justice is not something that we should uh, condone. We should, uh, you know, we're not saying that crime is something that you have to go into, but whatever crime it is, you must allow the authority to take over. This is 80s era barbaric phenomenon of lynching innocent persons has returned to Nigeria. It started from Calabar about a month ago. It has now moved to Lokoja in Kogi State. The trick is accuse someone of stealing another person's manhood and impossibility. I don't know whether you had that uh, happening in Ghana, uh, Mr. Achi, where manhood get missing and then immediately people can be lynched and immediately you can be set on fire. And this is the reason why uh, this is uh, leading to this barbarism uh, must be stopped. Now security agencies and a conscious public must rise to the occasion immediately. So another person has been born to death. Um, again, uh, you know, the issue between uh, Mobad is still going on. There's a lot of videos that are, are surfacing. This particular video, uh, trending of Mobad and Neramali, 
in 2021. Uh, it has, uh, you know, some kind of, I don't know what is wrapped in the, you know, in that particular starch there. Also, there's a, I don't know whether it's a real gun or it's just uh, a toy gun, but there's a two guns on the table there. And this video is already trending as well. As his body has now been exhumed from the information that we're hearing on the ground, we will then have to wait for further, you know, investigation to the outcome of uh, what actually led to the death of uh, this uh, young man in Nigeria. Again, uh, images are just uh, coming to me right now. Uh, President Bola Tinubu has now visited the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in his office uh, as he's signing the, the book right there. So, and again, right, we'll still continue. The rally still goes on yesterday. I could see as many uh, were rallying yesterday. But again, that is the images right there with the, uh, the president and the Anthony Guterres. So we'll probably wait to see what is going to be the outcome. Um, there was a story that came up to us from Shagamu, uh, a Chinese worker uh, impregnated a young woman and decided that uh, the only thing to ask for is to sell the baby. Uh, to him so that he can take the baby back to China. And the question is, uh, you know, how do we get to a situation like that? And we hope the authority will be looking into that. What is actually trending? Uh, David Odoye is an investigative journalist. A lot of Nigerians disagree with his views, but it seems currently he's uh, getting asylum, which has been established already from Ghana. But um, yesterday he has actually released a particular video uh, now stating that because of the work it does, not only that the Nigerian authority are trying to, you know, lean on the Ghanaian authority that have given him these, uh, you know, freedom to be able to move with a, uh, with a refugee passport uh, to now try to bring him back to Nigeria. Uh, this is what he said. It's a long one, but we're just going to play a little bit uh, from that. I'm constrained to send out this public Ghanaian President Anakou Fahadu, the Ghanaian Minister of Interior, Honorable Ambrose Berry, and to the Chair of the Ghana Refugee Board, Prof. Kenneth Atafua. Um, I fled Nigeria in 2020, and um, I applied for asylum in Ghana in early 2021. Um, in May 2022, I was granted um, refugee status in Ghana. Um, consequently, I was also issued a Ghanaian refugee travel document, a refugee passport, which I have subsequently used extensively to travel across Africa and around the world. Now, um, last month, when um, there was the ongoing um, back and forth between uh, those who wanted to go to war uh, within the ECOWAS bloc, those who wanted to go to war with the, um, the coup regime in Niger, and those who didn't, um, something happened. Um, the Nigerian president, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, made a move to deploy Nigerian special forces illegally um, into Nigerian territory to enforce a no-fly zone, which is a euphemism for essentially staging a military attack. And on so, in the nutshell, to summarize, uh, what he's actually saying is that uh, just like we've seen as uh, different journalists around the world. We know that Julia Assange is still currently, you know, here in UK as the US government is trying to extradite him back to US. Uh, all legal means have been put through. Uh, we've seen our uh, journalists being killed. Uh, you know, Jamal Khashoggi was killed at the Saudi Arabian embassy in 2018. Uh, we've seen, uh, you know, journalists have been killed in Nigeria with a letter bomb in the 80s, Deligiwa for exposing, you know, a particular government in place, uh, which was, uh, you know, the then military uh, uh, Babangida. Uh, we've seen that the Yati critics of the cardinal former governor Rufai have been missing for the last three years. The question is, the role of journalism is a big role, but sometimes it has a lot of threat uh, to lives as well. Uh, it's not the only one that fled in 2020. DJ Switch has already left the country as well because it was a target. But the question is, how do we protect journalists from balancing the work they do as against certain countries that might not want the kind of views from those kind of journalists? Star Radio UK, I'll come back again to you in the studio. But he actually says that Ghana has been a very good track record 
in terms of you know keeping people of this kind of situation just as where you know Igbo was given that kind of you know leverage in Benin Republic that after uh, the former president which I'm not sure why Fami Adeshina doesn't tell us what happened between that time Igbo was attacked maybe that will come up in his book but again a work journalist does day and night uh, can be very very difficult. And initiate them. Well, the situation has literally gone worse, not as bad. It's gone worse. Uh, I mean, uh, I left secondary school in 1995, and I'm not sure, uh, you know, there was any sort of occultism within, you know, the secondary school as at the time. Yes, I mean, we have, you know, people that you probably say they are bad boys, bad girls, you know, right there and there in every school. There, you know, we have them. You know, when you go on the public buses in UK, sometimes you know the behaviors of some of those children can be very, very. But again, you know, some of them eventually come out of it. But when it comes to cultism, you are actually initiating somebody to become who they don't want to be. And the whole reason for this cultism again uh, could it be poverty in Nigeria? Uh, could it be that many of them wants to become, you know, the star boy, you know, the shining? boys out there you know in music uh could they just want to be a tough individual we know that cultism happens within the university and the question mr Hachi, some of those cultism are now not just only in nigeria they are now bringing it out of nigeria we've seen situation in dubai in united arab emirates even here in the uk we've had issues of people talking about you know groups of IA, black acts and all that and everyone knows them but sometimes the question is uh, you know can they operate fully like here in UK as against Nigeria that the new, I mean, the government is now saying that we might have to set up, uh, you know, a court. And again, asking for them to be able to come out because there's amnesty. Remember that amnesty was given to those during the Yaradwa, those that were, you know, destroying the pipeline. So there's nothing wrong in amnesty. But the question is, what is really behind the cultism? Is it because of the lack of well-being and welfare? As we know that many Nigerians are struggling to have three square meal. Again, children at secondary school, three of them were killed on Saturday. Like I said, these images were just too gruesome for us to show, but we pray for the families and we hope the state and the federal will get their hands on this as quickly as possible. If you remember that in the UK, um, at some point, if you put on certain trainers, if you get to another London borough, they can easily know that you are not from that borough. So it's all about, a, you know, a coded words, coded messages, outfit, you know, uh, and that was a kind of, a, you know, I mean, I find it very difficult to understand that, you know, you put on a particular trainers and then you travel to another borough and then you could easily be identified as a, a threat in that borough i mean for those of us that are probably not even into these trainers but again yes this was happening in uk uh where your particular trainers if you put it on you cannot get into a particular borough wow. yeah i see parents <laughs> and that's why anthony gotra says that uh, you know it seems that the gate of uh, air fire has been opened on the earth
Well, uh, we just say uh, to all our listeners and those that have joined us on the sister broadcast, thank you so much once again. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow, but actually we'll take you to the rest of the program. And like I said, uh, we continue to pray for those uh, that are, you know, asking for injustice in, uh, in Africa because the injustice is getting too much, but we hope things will be sorted out uh, in all part of that continent. Thank you very, very much. Uh, have a lovely day and we'll catch up later. Bye well, for now. Listeners, that has been so lively. All right. All right. All right. Ah, Yami Bissima Is that statement when the government provides domestic allowance to him every month? More picky, man. Maybe that was what I was saying. Um, sad situation. Uh, I'm up at our later because I have to go now. Uh, but. I've done a program already this morning. You might want to watch that. Uh, it was focusing on the Tinubu, uh, Femi Adesino, and the, um, <laughs> what was it called? Buari had regret. Could have been something better. Femi Adesino, and Sonyani, Oshoboni, and no. Tinubu, Sofa, Montoa, and the Diaspora, Bugualumba, Soro, Oni, uh, not to America anyway, so could Jeba Barataban so we are abroad, Emma Pada Bonile. That is what Tinovo is saying, and become also bell, you know, that is what the president is like. I don't know whether most of you will be ready to go back home. Uh, maybe if you're thinking of going back home, uh, I don't know. Uh, as many people have tried to go back home anyway, uh, and they've returned back because one reason or the other, things have not really worked. Many people want to go back home. But you don't go back home where, uh, I mean, based on what we are hearing, you know, I call Gwela Bear anyhow. I'm sure many of you will be asking, how do I want to move to That's what I heard, you know, I don't know. How do I want to go back home? I want to go back home. 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 Chelly lost it, Chelly, let him up in if you are brought his lay, a lost set of business. Sequara State. Maybe Lagos State. Just at least even Lagos State for it. No, we should need to lower. So I'm sure, you know, in Titan of Bonson, we are quarrel on source anyway. Because once often go going, we came up at a bondly. I once live in US. Opportunities are born, but return home. Tinobu tells Nigerians. Is it serious? Come on, don't solemn. We should come back home. Come back home that, you know, our, our, our lives. I mean, I'll come on here, but not every one of you. But yes, if only I mean that, no, at some point, Osakuro Nigeria, Koto de Pobere, speak, you know, the kind of language that they want him to speak. So when, when he says we should come back home, our mindset, we're taking my love because I have other things to do right now. Mark uh, But again, uh, as I always say, uh, 25 years, we're grateful we are still here and we're not doing bad. 25 years today, I remember we were at the in the airport. Well, okay, when Femi Adesino said he cannot afford to buy gas, where oh no, I'm just on here, Yami, a lie. Oh no, only 20,000 era lower. Oh no, what they do, what he said he didn't have the remaining money. Only so you call our phone, low. We surely believe when he told you. Uh, I've been so fun. He job back with only forty thousand naira lower. She, 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 Ente wa ni Canada, ente wa ni Oman, ni Qatar, ente wa ni UAE. Oni ki wa ma bonle. Oni ka ma bonle. Oni opportunity wa Nigeria. Yes, opportunity wa Nigeria loto. Yen wu wa shifei investi si bete le. Because we saw it as an opportunity. As is koni ba je fwen. Oni ka ma bonle. Eh, baba mi kadosha. Oni that is why we can't trust them. I mean... We go home. Tebani misunderstanding, but they are abroad. Any file, any, I mean, I'm talking about business now. 
you can i don't know i don't know oh no to bill america okay we understand all that i shall more be chief of staff eh? more when you tell us american is saying oh 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 o ja le ni o wa lori ko nse pe mo nse pe mo mo n ba je emi ko mo n ba mo ile on ko n ba yan je insurance money yan to ba won se o de gbe owo yan o gbe salo i can remember that be 20 something thousand mo ke wa wo ra de beauty ya me bi si ma konjola ni we will come back come to join courties before we can have a better life ah mo understand fi tinu bu yo he ba mi se wa nbe fashion designer to ran so ni o ko lo si bi se o ba sister to fe bi mo o ba ran so pe sister mi mo nbo lodo yin o o wo lagos state transport to e ko je the safest o wo nu e o pa no mo ah o mo de ri ku yan sha o ni mi ni ko mo anu mo to e ko de pari wo pe ja mi bo le wo were yi o wa ja si wo wo lebute meta o ja si wo wo sibe ba se soro iko ti si justice fun case leni ni se e ko se case fun leni mo ki e ka san yami wura de beauty ya gbe mi leke ya dada oni baje fun e eh eni ka ma bon le ke ma pe gbogbo awon grammar fe lo le to ba lo sick ipin re because tin ba tin de age kan a ma pare eto in just few minutes tin ba de age kan ba se e mo awa gan ta je small small boys bye wallahi ah pe mi oni soro sheri lo se blood test la roy wallahi mo so won pan mo ko le ma se video lati be ni o lo se wa lowo mi appointment yen e ran ti pe mo lo si odo doctor e ran ti na bi mo post e fun yin practically mi ma fi won yin ni ilu yi practical ni ko se pe kini bo mo ko le ma se video ba ton se gbogbo kini yen ohun ni mo lo se blood test yen mo te ti yo ohun ile la aro ile le yo lo se blood test ko di gbati yan ba sick mo tlo se blood test ni sin wa lie ta lie so mo be lie loruko jesus atanobi ati gbogbo to lu karukun pe mo so one pound so that means pe appointment yen mo ko walk in bi se dey buy mr oko ni kin confirm oruko mi mr loyo mi ko ike confirm your date of birth sit down there bi mo ati yen ri jacket lo only the winter is out mo ni be ni at the dakpara eni to ma gun mi la bere yen o gboro se train dada ko ma lo gun mi ni bi ti ko e ko gun mi oni kin fodo won mi bai ise ta won sisters wa kan kan se ni ru ile le yi ton gbowo awon to wan le na fe se the same thing o da elo ni to ba fi lo se blood test la aro ni nigeria e for many price tin ba wa lowo kilo ma se le ah a be ma ri mi ya mi gbe mi leke ti tinu bu wa ni kin wa le ke ti ba de mercy hospital mo kin grammar comfort da de le mo ki alaja irat awon ni kan lo lo si number 10 down the street ko ni ba je fun mi mama ni jo tuesday o dan ki wo mo pe ya ni jade awon ko lo ntin won ni mo fi picture yin won yin o nle le aro ile le aro yi ni mo ti se le aro yi so ko digba so ko digba tin yan ba sick ko digba tin yan ba sick iyan ma se because awat awati contribute sinu ilu yi ni mo se sowo but iwo to nbo so ti gbo pe owo immigration health subcharge on lo soke gbogbo awon to ba nse iwe won ni ilu yi won ma san wo immigration subcharge to ba je student ni yen o ma san wo immigration subcharge gbogbo ile mo ton je be won ni 5000 naira ni tin ba fe se blood test ni nigeria i don't know mi gbe nigeria so the basic things health is wealth ta ba ti lalafia ke ko san to ni dowo bi wo se ni dowo yen le bi na ni dowo wallahi a de man sise ni bibi kan mo n ri lori bbc la aro yi o nsun kun ni former eh hair hostel ni pelu bi e mo mo to go wrong ile eni sin mortgage kapatu o lo mo meji oko abroad ni yen olon ko sha nu wa oluka lu ko ti da wa la aro yi mo wa wo ma bai mo mo fe le ma ba sunku poverty wa ninu ru yi awon ma me mhm 
That was a man getting news in here. Sky News. Bank of England interest rate at 5.25 after a deep inflation. Interesting son here. Inflation to one need So I want to pay a joke. I want to come back home. I want to come back home. Oh, she better me be by. La she wa le ni. Ni bi te mo lo. Te va de bo she mpon me le bi bi president. Ti wo re. Kaka she dan de. Fe gba blo. No se to gun la bere ni se. The country is messed up. I don't know. So it's up to you guys anyway. So I walk on the dark mass of the one. Come on, tell me what you want to say. You're funny. You're right, Mr. Koiki. My sister called me this morning that they asked her to pay 30,000 naira for blood test. And she has come back home because she cannot afford it. You're funny. 30,000. Share what I want to say. I'm going to say something. It will make you sense. When you tell me, you're going to say something. You're going to say something. Thirty thousand naira is a lot of money. Only in the Chinese, only the doctor. If you not to contribute, see Louis. The Moshe the one who be. If any prime minister was to talk me, a lot of video to Moshe. Sorry, back up channel wa. Only Ali afford lati tax and to one in Ulemo. Ah, problem yema poluri one ye. If you look to talk me lati on the fourth of October, if you should have a movie, don't boy. Oh, visa fee. Student visa ni, visiting visa ni, two years ni, uh, six months ni, ten year visa ni, which one to oba ni, or long jack off visa, a mean she visa, no visa show. To repay Akim, reason that she man tell no money pay to Akim, or your colleague, Madame Baban of Consor, or Lenny, quick, you know, when she visa, I didn't buy she visa, I don't do visa. But to buy the UK, you can't pay me ni last week, or shall I problem kick it return in by long be student in you, if you know that she can. I want to lay refund on see a yellow bound into more money. But pay a was if you were you in your mob, Boba Shim when you go she were you key. I don't care. Yat, you know, she was la. Came in out of Walini twenty five years ago. In the local twenty five, Timor Walui, September twenty first, nineteen ninety eight, Gatwick Airport. She man took a lower yammy. So, a requisite reason to me, she liked my kidney go boba. To go back in my one and Giriani. If not, little of the but I don't know how long the car will be. So you know what? Don't she cut his name? I bet he cut on him to to work. I understand pressure one in the FA the musician FA FA get blow FA get work. But the one who man initiate a run, the one who man make jig, the one who man share a woo, she be born on Sunday. I don't know. So I just can't look so that I need more time. You know, that is so. Or to put more fee focus on the you know living outside. What does it mean? You know, I have lived here for 25 years. Mo dupe for long. E me gugu atalafia. A alowo, e fun alowo. Ni la chinzo kwe fun. E support media wa. E fun alowo, e fun anera, e fun ani pounds. E de fun ani prayer. E fi itoku sile. You know. To be mi shikba blood testi. Omo e mi nan ki wo nan. Ni ogun state. Ni kwara. Ni ondo. Ni onshun. Ni oyo. Ni Lagos. Ni kogi. Omo mi kwe ki wo nan lo sinu hospital. Ko lo she blood test. Ko wun ton she. A tin to she. In ton kwe ni e moti. Ya mi bisi ni. My family just lost a good friend. After paying 1 million nera in a private hospital. He was even asked to pay 1.5. Yo kuma wa elu to. But we must do everything to avoid it. So. Ola ba wakwa li bubo wa. Ola wakwa li baba kito ye. Ola wakwa li bubo wa. Bubo wa kwa da kwa ta. Mo ki grama ade. A wo ni ye. Mo ki bubo in yawa. Ya mi comfort. Thank you so much. So today, uh, I'm a jadi later. Uh, let's you know move further because I have other engagement to do right now. Uh, love you all so much. Yoruba nation, no going back. We are not yet. We are not yet to attack Tinubu, but we are telling him all the time. He has a limited time. Work for the dissolution of Nigeria. If that's not what you're working for, whatever you are going to do is a waste of time. That's all. So you know, <laughs> every time. The mortgage relief for millions as Bank of England post interest rate. I do pay for long. We went to any mortgage. We need to lower you. The the worst situation. We can't even take any leg or not take a leg. We have to risk losing share. You can't only sick. Anything can happen. We worry mortgage is on. So, but it is on after one month, two month, three month. I want to any mortgage. We need to lower. How long you can't lower? We go into any mortgage. I want to take the thing. No, how long you can't lower? No, lower. It lets you do it. Bubu to ya kafira ilisi lui atisende si Nigeria. 
Tinubu, emi wale ni sinyo. Bia won APC campaign na eh, e. Mori wongu woni chata na os. Bia won yon loma lole. Ten yon bati lole. Te bati ribi tinubu she she si. Le yon do meri. Eh, eh, bia wa she ma ama plan la ti wa. En eh, doba de fi lole. I wano ba fi si no comment section. Kwe ko ike min lole ni. Tinubu tini kama bonle. Mwiki bubwa len kon si. Olon bele du marawa kwa lo wa. E ma fa dura si le yo. A oma wani lo yon. Kwan towa bori shiri shiyo. I kon loti sentence mwen 8 years. Wano ta, ta koke. Omo yoro ba ni kolon wak po lo family bubo wata wambi ba yo. Let's keep an eye on our children. You know. Uh, we are not here to bring him down. But news in it. Awata ba da yon she media. Ko si news tale so. So only le. Omo yoro ba ni. So 26 years old. Omo ti sentence as 8 years. So thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye for now. Koiki Media bringing the work closer to your doorsteps.